Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Oh, I forgot to do the shoulder shake. Every single week. Oh, it's so simple water cream. Whew. What are my thoughts? If you aren't aware, Crave Beauty recently launched their new moisturizer, Oat So Simple Water Cream. It has had so much hype. I was looking forward to this product like none other. I purchased it, I used it, and I just have thoughts. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the cream, my experiences using it over the past 12 days, the formula and ingredients, and just what my thoughts are on the product overall. So let's get into it. I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you are aware of Crave Beauty, but just in case you aren't, they are a brand that I am a total fan of. They were made by YouTuber Leah Yu, and they focus on ingredient conscious and effective skincare. It's a really cool bridge of the Korean and Western skincare worlds. Their products are incredible because not only are the ingredients really effective, they don't formulate with fragrance, essential oils, or other possible irritants, which I... I love. If you want to see my thoughts on the entire line, like the rest of the products, feel free to watch my video, The Truth About Crave Beauty. I talk about my thoughts on everything there, but you're tired of waiting. You want to get into the review. I get it. So from the beginning, Leah has been very clear about the functionality of this moisturizer. I have to say, I agree with the brand standpoint and philosophy of this product. When it comes to a moisturizer, a lot of times we'll get caught up in like all the fancy active ingredients and what they formulate with, the texture, the fragrance, all this kind of stuff. But in reality, the only thing that a moisturizer is supposed to do is just to enhance and protect your moisture barrier. Our skin is constantly losing water through a process called transepidermal water loss, and it is the reason why certain areas of our face will be more dry, certain areas will be more oily, and in order to prevent a lot of issues like aging, it's critical that we use a moisturizer every single day. I definitely believe in the standpoint of not needing a lot of active or powerful ingredients in a moisturizer because that can be taken care of in the treatment serum essence stage of a skincare routine. When it comes to moisturizing, it really should just be doing well to protect your moisture barrier. I think that philosophy is correct, and being that Crave is focused on ultimate minimalism and simplicity when it comes to their products, I wasn't surprised to see this. Now let's talk about ingredients. The company has really promoted the message that this moisturizer is formulated with less than 10 ingredients. Because it has so few ingredients, I thought, hey, why not use this opportunity to teach you guys a little bit about the ingredients that they use and what their purposes are since the ingredient list is so short. First ingredient, water. Obviously, that's usually the first ingredient in everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Ow. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Butylene glycol is the first ingredient. Now this is most commonly used as a texture enhancer. It it's what makes a moisturizer so thick and creamy, but it's also a delivery agent for any active or other ingredients that you want to penetrate deeply into the skin. It's what makes a moisturizer so easy to use and apply to our face. It's pretty much in every moisturizer I've seen out there, really common ingredient. Second ingredient is caprylic triglyceride. And this is an ingredient that provides moisture and helps to retain any moisture loss. It's one of those must have ingredients in my opinion when it comes to a moisturizer because it's needed for hydration. Amazing ingredient, but extremely common. You can find it like everywhere again. Now the third ingredient is probably my favorite ingredient in this product. It's squalane. And squalane is an incredible moisturizing ingredient and it's very similar to our skin's natural sebum, which means that the skin is able to receive it and use it as a moisture lock to make sure that our skin is hydrated throughout the day. It's an incredible ingredient. It's always been one of my favorite and I was actually surprised at how high up it was on the ingredient list in this product. And those top three ingredients from my guess is pretty much what makes up like 90% of the product. Because the next ingredient is 1,2-hexanediol, which is a preservative that's non-irritating. But usually when I see this ingredient, I want it to be relatively low on the ingredient list because like all preservatives, I just think it's better when they're at lower percentages than higher percentages. You don't really need a high percentage of a preservative because they aren't really going to do anything for your skin besides maintain the integrity of the product. The next ingredient is behenyl alcohol. <laughs> okay, I swear I'm probably saying like all of these ingredients wrong. Give me a break, bitch. I only read these. I don't hear people talk about them because it's not like I walk down the street and I say hi to my neighbor and I'm like, hey, by the way, what is your opinion on 1,2-hexanediol? Anyway, behenyl alcohol is a fatty alcohol that works to provide hydration, but is also a delivery agent for ingredients. Oh, okay, wish me luck on this next one. Ammonium acryloyl dimethyl torate VP copolymer. 
Basically, this is a thickening agent, which if you don't know how I feel about thickening agents, thick. we love a thick sister. Basically, this is what makes a moisturizer more creamy and hydrating. The second to last ingredient is Avena Sativa or Oatmeal Extract, which is the ingredient that they primarily focus on in this product. It's great for skin soothing and calming properties. And then the last ingredient, Ethyl Hexyl Glycerin, which is a preservative. So when I initially saw the product ingredient list, I was like, oh, you know, it's very simple. It's very kind of basic. Like you find those ingredients in pretty much every product out there, but I still wanted to buy it because I was like, okay, you know, even if it does have a really simple standard ingredient list, I had a feeling the main point of this product was in the texture, the feel, how it felt when you applied it to the skin. And honestly, you can have two products with the exact same ingredient list, but they can be a completely different feel because it depends on how the formulator created it, how it's mixed, the percentages of ingredients, it really just depends. So I wasn't going to make up my mind on this product until I actually was able to use it. Now let's talk about my experience. I'm going to be a hundred percent honest. You guys know I love Crave Beauty. I am obsessed with their brand, but I didn't like this product. It felt a little bit too heavy and too greasy on my face, which is something that I don't usually like. I have more oily skin, but we are getting into the more colder months, which means I have more combination skin. So usually a water cream will work really well for my skin at this point, but this was just too heavy on my skin. But in addition to that, I didn't notice any extreme plumpness or hydration. It was more so that I just kind of felt like a layer of grease on top of my skin. Some of it did absorb, but I just didn't feel like it fully absorbed like some of my favorite moisturizers do. Now I know some of you guys will be in the comments like, oh my God, Hiram, you only used it for 12 days. How can you make up your mind about a product? Every single type of product is different in terms of how long you need to use it. When it comes to a moisturizer, you should be able to figure out your opinion on it pretty quickly because if you like the finish, if you like how it absorbs into your skin, and if you like the feel, it only takes a few days to really make up your mind. And because this is such a simple moisturizer, with non-active ingredients, you don't need to use it for a long time to see results. You can pretty much make your mind up after a few days. And after using it for almost two weeks, I honestly just didn't notice results that I was impressed with. Now I know some of you guys will be commenting and be like, um, Hiram, why do you go so hard against other brands, but you're being so nice to this product? Let me tell you, bitch, my standpoint when it comes to whether or not I bash brands is completely based on the type of ingredients that they formulate with. There are so many brands out there who purposefully use ingredients that are known to be skin sensitizers and irritants and potentially damaging to the skin when they know they are causing damage to client skin. Brand philosophy is critical as to how I will perceive a brand. And I am not this type of person that's like, oh, if the product doesn't work for me, then I hate it and I will drag it. No, but if the formula is shit, then you guys will be the first to know. When I see that the brand is prioritizing the health of the skin and is purposefully excluding a lot of irritating ingredients from their formulations, it's so easy for me to put my trust in that brand because I know that they will be focused on what's better, not necessarily what feels better for the skin. And that's the reason I love Crave Beauty so much. And even if I find a product that doesn't agree with my skin, why I will continue to support the brand so diligently. And honestly, the formula for this product is non-irritating, non-sensitizing. I would label this as a moisturizer for very, very, very sensitive skin. And this brings me to the last stage, my thoughts on the product overall. Now, first of all, I wanna talk about the positives. I want to say, I trust Leah Yu with my life. She is just the most incredible founder. I love her balance of skin health and environmental sustainability and how she prioritizes both within her brand. I love that she formulates without fragrance and essential oils. There is so much intention with every single move she makes for her brand. And I can tell that every single product had hundreds, if not thousands of hours of work dedicated to it. So even though my first impressions of this product weren't necessarily incredible, and after using the product, I didn't really like it, that doesn't mean I don't think this is a good product. Because like I was saying before, the functionality of this product is just to be a basic standard moisturizer solely focused on improving the hydration of the face. That's it. Another thing I love about this product is the environmental sustainability. In the packaging, I found a complete recycling guide to show how you could recycle this product. In addition, Leah Yu created an entire post on her Instagram talking about the battle for what packaging would be the most sustainable. And I was someone who in my past video was pushing so hard for them to use glass packaging, but they are faced with a unique challenge. All of their products are manufactured in Korea and then shipped to 
to the USA. Now, when it comes to environmental sustainability, as horrible as plastic is and how much it harms the ocean and our land, what's even worse is emissions. Now, when a product weighs a lot more, you're going to be getting more and more emissions because of the energy needed to transport those heavier products from one location to another. And because they're traveling from Korea all the way to the USA as far as the East Coast, that's a lot of emissions. And so they wanted to make sure that their products were as lightweight as possible to reduce those emissions. And that brings up a really important discussion about which form of environmental sustainability is best. As much as I advocate for glass packaging, I will recognize that in terms of what is most damaging to the earth at this point, emissions are by far far more damaging than plastic packaging and so I can understand her reasoning as sad as it makes me to see that this is plastic the good thing about it is that it is 100% recyclable and I respect her and the brand for that reason in addition I saw a lot of people complaining about the price point for this product I personally don't think it's too expensive it's a 2.7 fluid ounce jar which is a lot which comes out to about $10 per ounce which honestly is a really good price for a moisturizer so I don't think it's too big of a deal now let me move on to the negatives one big question mark that I have for this product is why there's so much focus on the oat extract like literally the name of the product is oat so simple and they put so much emphasis on the benefits of oats but it's the second to last ingredient now i will say in order for an ingredient to be really effective on your face it does not have to be high up on the ingredient list but one thing that concerns me about this is that it's lower than the preservatives used in the product and usually when i see a product marketing a beneficial ingredient but having it lower than the preservative that they use I get a little iffy because I'm like, um, how effective is this actually going to be? Hmm, that's a little concerning to me. In my opinion, the main focus point of this product should have been squalane. Like it's high up on the ingredient list. The benefits of squalane are incredible. It's so moisturizing, an ingredient that you don't necessarily find in every single product out there. I think they really should have marketed the product towards that because the concentration was so much higher. So I don't know if you have thoughts, comment them down below, but that is a concern of mine when it comes to this moisturizer. Of course, another negative for me is my experience with this product like I said before I really didn't like it and honestly guys Crave has such incredible products and if you want a much more effective moisturizer that is going to address a lot of concerns within the skin and provide a great amount of hydration the great barrier relief from Crave Beauty is an incredible product I rave about this product so much because it really is amazing not only do you have ingredients that are really going to protect your moisturizer and help to heal your skin from any possible damage it's seen it also has a high concentration of tamano oil which is great for moisturizer moisturizing and reducing pigmentation and dark spots on the face. And in my opinion, this is much more lightweight than the water cream, but has much more protective ingredients that are really going to give you better results. And because of that, I have to say that the Oat So Simple water cream is my least favorite product from the entire Crave Beauty line. I know I'm saying something negative about brand I love, but I have to be honest with you guys. Like I really wasn't super impressed with this product and I think you can get a lot more benefits from using either the Great Barrier Relief or the other products that they have as well. What do you guys think? Have you tried this moisturizer? Comment down below. I really want to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.